beautiful Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of January right through to the end of February 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Virgo, this is your twin flame reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. The first pile will be your pile, second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile is the unified energy, how things are coming together, okay? Uh, so you may have felt recently that your twin flame connection has felt a little bit strained, or you felt uh, that perhaps that there's been no communication. Well, we have had Mars in retrograde for quite some time, but it went direct on the 12th of January, and Mercury is still in retrograde, okay? But it will move shortly in to a direct position, which means there is better opportunity to communicate with your twin. Uh, but let's see what is coming out uh, for you um, with your individual situation. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Okay. So, um, now, what I can see here is that right now, my beautiful Virgo, you're focusing on making your own luck, okay? And I feel also that um, you've gone inwards for reflection and you're actually um, feeling quite surprised that you let this person so deep into your energy, okay? I'm just getting this energy of um, feeling surprised. I mean, you're very loyal. Uh, you've got the dog energy here. So you've been very loyal. You've been very um, open-hearted with this person. And you may have felt that this person has um, left you feeling confused because I feel this person did not really know what they wanted uh, when they first met you, okay? Uh, that's what I'm strongly picking up here for your person. But we will go deeper and find out what is going on individually. Thanks so much, Spirit Guys, Green Angels. Uh, you're focusing on your own happiness. Uh, twin Flames, um, you meet your twin when you have gone through some sort of difficult experience in life. And you're meant to meet your twin as a catalyst for change. So all the things that are within yourself um, that need processing, healing, uh, you tend to meet your twin and they, how can I put this? They trigger the things within you that need healing so that you can have a spiritual awakening. Now, the twin flame journey is a very important one. Is It, it is a catalyst for change. Um, it is there to make both parties become more um, aware of their higher self, but also to affect better healthcare habits, um, you know, to value yourself. It's a major lesson in valuing yourself. When they, when they meet, twins tend to be very magnetic. It's like a moth to a flame. And they, um, it's like a push and pull energy like magnets. Okay. Uh, thanks so much, Spirit Guys, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to be aware of? I'm just going to move this over so I've got some space. Close that deck off for you. Um, yeah, so think of magnets, okay? Identical in polarities, they push and pull. So um, when you meet your twin, it's magnetic, but there's always that space in between. It keeps you separate. Twin flames are meant to have a period of separation. The frequencies in the magnets are identical. So there'll always be that, you know, magnetic pull, but at the same time, there is a resistance because uh, one part of the uh, twin flame connection, the the, normally the runner is emotionally avoidant at that time. They're not willing to um, open themselves up. They deny their feelings. They are looking in a mirror 
at the things within themselves that need to be healed because the twin flame is a triggering relationship and the um the twin who is a runner is avoidant they look at all the things that need to be healed and they feel overwhelmed also <clears throat> excuse me also they tend to feel overwhelmed with unconditional love because they've not experienced that level of unconditional love before now the chaser of course is more spiritually evolved they're willing to be vulnerable and open and take that leap of faith in the twin flame connection um but uh, it's like a rude awakening the twin feels the chaser tends to feel um rejected um, but it is to force the twin who is the chaser to not overgive to value themselves more, to find a, you know, a more, you're stepping into a new version of yourself, basically, when you meet your twin, uh, that is teaching you a lesson of um, healthier boundaries, okay? Uh, so I just want you to be aware of uh, twin flame energy. If anyone is narcissistic, emotionally, mentally, physically abusive, then that is not a twin flame, okay? That is a false flame connection. So please look it up online. I will eventually get around to doing a video on it so you can just watch it once so you don't have to hear it ever again. But unfortunately, I haven't had that time. I'm back in my usual space, as you can see. Um, but let's get straight to your cards, okay? Um, now, also, just to let you know, I'm not here to take anybody's side. I'm not here to give excuses or anything for anybody. I'm here to understand the energy so that I can move on and see what the outcome energy here is. Now, we've got the Clover, and it's number two in the uh, Lenormand deck. And, uh, you know, when it connects to the Major Arcanas, it is, of course, the High Priestess, which is a Virgo card. So you are actually going deep within for um, answers. But I also get this sense of you surprising yourself with some of the things that you are revealing to yourself in your awakening. Um, I feel like there is a sense of wanting to move on from your twin and focus on your own luck. You may have felt that you have been unlucky in love, my beautiful Virgo, but 2023 is different. You're promising yourself that is different. You're moving away from emotional uh, turmoil. I feel like you're being guided out of a very difficult situation. Uh, we got the Six of Swords here for you, which means you've been tested. Okay, there is a twin flame test, which is the test of separation. It has been very, very difficult. Twin flame relationships, when they're good, they're awesome. They're so romantic, passionate, kind, loving, caring, empathetic, all of those things. But when it comes to um, the separation period, it is painful as F. And you don't need me to tell you that, but unfortunately it is part and parcel of this twin flame dynamic. It's all about energy. It's not a game, but I feel with the clover here, I feel that like you are trying to focus on, um, you know, better fortune this year. Uh, I do feel like your twin will surprise you this year, actually. <clears throat> this is a card of second chances. So um, it's interesting that part of you is like, it would be a dream come true to be with your twin, to give this person a second chance. But I feel with the Six of Swords, I feel like you're ready to move on because I feel like you've been tested enough. And you don't know what the unknown will bring in this relationship. I feel part of you was looking to settle down. You gave your person a safe space to love because you love this person with all of your heart, okay? And it takes you a long time to open up to anybody, my beautiful Virgo. You're the sort of person, you're very discerning about the company that you keep. So you do not love at the drop of a hat. So that's why it's very painful that this has occurred, that the twin flame separation has occurred. And I feel, you know, right now you're hoping to be luckier in love. And you're focusing on building your own luck as well in terms of your career, in terms of your family, your home life, because of course we've got the Ten of Cups there. I feel like you have been the awakened party. But this year is different. Uh, we've got the Sun card here. So I feel like you're being really positive, trying to rebuild. And I get this sense uh, with the Sun card there of you uh, opening yourself up to the joy of life, leaving the darkness and confusion behind because you've had enough. OK, I feel like you're trying to be positive. You're focusing um, optimistically on your own success um, and, and building confidence. Twin flame separation. At first, it robs of confidence, but then you start to rebuild the confidence. And I feel like you're starting this year in a different mindset completely uh, regarding your twin flame connection. Um, <clears throat> now, I feel like you're seeing clearly. I feel like you are aware. 
Uh, it's interesting that both you and your twin have aspects of light in your chart. Your twin is in the star energy, so there, uh, there's a lot of healing, but your, your twin also has the moon. So if you think about um, energy and light and all of those things, the sun radiates all by itself. So you're learning to shine that wonderful light within yourself, open yourself up to that inner being that you are and letting, you know, letting that light shine. And your person is going through a period of healing, but they've also got the sun, uh, sorry, the moon. The moon cannot shine all by itself. The moon needs the sun in order to be present, to be, uh, to be uh, lit, to be seen. OK, and I feel your person, whilst they've had a real quest for independence, I feel like their realization, their acknowledgement is that they need you in their life. They cannot let you go. OK, that's what I'm picking up here with your person. Now, I always say we don't need anybody. We want somebody in um, <clears throat> our lives, but I feel a need from your person. So I suspect there's a bit of codependency coming from your person's energy. So we will go into that in a moment. Um, now, remember that a twin flame relationship, it's like showing a mirror up to your twin. So you, my beautiful Virgo, are looking in the mirror when you're seeing your twin and it's triggering all the things that you feel insecure about in your life in general. OK, because twin flames, they meet when there's been a previous experience that has been difficult before you even met your twin. So it could be childhood wounding. You could have been bullied as a, uh, a teenager or as a child, and it's made you feel feelings of low self-worth. You could have witnessed uh, parents, um, you know, divorcing, things like that. They are narratives that have been given to us along our journey. And the twin flame relationship is there to expel the narrative that went before that holds power over you in some way or influences the way you operate in love. So it's a process to um, eradicate these feelings so that you can open yourselves up to that wonderful lighthearted um, energy and love um, and surrender okay to the twin flame connection it is a very very difficult process and uh, sometimes it requires counseling so i feel like there's something here about your person that i'm picking up on where they will seek a counselor if they haven't already but anyway uh we'll move on ten of cups you're looking to settle down you want security you want the happy ever after okay but most importantly you just want peace you just want an easier life especially when it comes to love OK, you just want joy. I feel like you're trying to make a home that is uh, brings fulfillment and serenity. And you I feel you're aware that actually you, you just want to find someone who wants to take the journey of life with you. Uh, I feel like you one of your lessons, my beautiful Virgo, is to realize that you are lovable. You're so beautiful. You come, you bring a lot to the table of love. Okay. You bring, um, not only are you attractive and it's not about aesthetics, but, uh, you're also very witty. You're very funny. You're very intelligent. You're very kind and I'm not blowing smoke up your, you know what? I'm just making you aware that you have a nurturing energy about you that is naturally from a place of love, but because you know what you have to offer in terms of your, um, you know, empathy, your support, uh, your nurture of other people. That's why you're so discerning about the company that you keep, because you know that it's high stakes when it's, um, you know, people that you let into your social circle because you care so much and you've learned in life that not everybody is reciprocal in that energy. There are a lot of takers in this world. And I feel you have learned that the hard way and it has made you very, very guarded. OK, is what I'm picking up. But I also feel that there is a wonderful love available for you as well, but you must realize that you're lovable and um, I, I want you to be also aware that, um, okay, they're just giving me this energy, don't shoot the messenger of you over giving, okay, over giving, especially when things are perhaps going, uh, not going so well, you tend to give a little bit more. OK, and of course, don't ever change the way that you operate, my beautiful Virgo, but just realize that there is balance. OK, because if you're over giving, of course, the frequency is out of uh, sync and you tend to be like looking up at a person or uh, giving so much energy and they're just going to sit back and take. So that's that's just coming through a little bit as well. Uh, we do have the Six of Swords. Deep down, I feel like you want to move on. This has been a very turbulent experience for you. And I feel like um, you're trying to find that calm within. You're also asking the universe or your guides for an omen. Send me a sign that I should move on because part of you, 
I feel like you found it difficult to move on from this, okay? Um, I feel whenever you meet your twin or whenever you see or hear from your twin, you immediately expect trouble ahead because it's been conditioned, okay? So I feel either this has con been conditioned from when you were younger or something you experienced before you met your twin. So you may have had a previous love relationship perhaps where there was a lot of damage done to the psyche or the confidence, or um, it could be that your, your twin has triggered uh, this energy or even exhibited this energy where they come in and out. Because I get this sense that you've had a cycle with this person, a couple of cycles, that this person comes in and out of your life or tries to, okay? And I feel you're conditioned to feel that this person doesn't stick around or that I feel like there's an uncertainty with this person. Um, but your guides are actually moving you out of the test phase, shall we say, of the twin flame connection. So let me just see what the main lesson is here for you to learn, because this is a relationship that teaches us very hard lessons. I mean, it is a very rewarding relationship when it comes into fruition, but it is very difficult. The world in reverse, unfinished business. It's not done yet. You feel you can't quite close out that cycle. Okay. Also, you may feel that uh, there is a lesson here to be learnt um, because the world in reverse indicates the lesson has not been learnt yet, but you are being guided out of the test because I feel like you're passing the test, but there's something yet to be learnt. I mean, Six of Swords is showing up again. That's why it's uh, my guides. The energy they gave me was like um, the same energy again. That's why I repeated myself that you're being guided out of, you know, you've been tested, you're, you're passing the tests and the Six of Swords shows up again. To, to sort of highlight that energy that my guides are giving me, that you are passing the test. You're being guided out of those difficult emotions. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to go get that other card. Two of Wands in the Reverso indicates um, you can't see, it's almost like you can't see the future with this person anymore right now. Everything fell apart. And I feel some of you, it's like I'm not waiting anymore though. So I'm just going to go get that card and see what it is. Oh, it's the King of Cups. Your person is exhibiting the King of Cups, so perhaps you're dealing with a Scorpio. Um, I'm just going to go get that card. One moment, please. Okay, so it is in the upright. So this person, they do love you. There is emotions here. Um, you do love this person also. I mean, I feel like you, do, you don't want to take a step back from this person, but I feel like you've been left with no choice. Okay, uh, King of Cups there. I get this sense that you know that there is like some sort of empathy or telepathic almost bond between you and this person. There's a lot of love here, but I feel like you're the energy that you're in here is like you have a lot of love to give. And one of the lessons is about overgiving because the King of Cups is to be composed. It's to protect the heart space. OK, I feel like you've been very sympathetic to your person. You may have even realized that sometimes your person comes to you for sanctuary whenever things are not going so well in their life. Uh, it's like you're that lighthouse in the beak, you know, you're the beacon of light, that lighthouse in the storm sometimes. Um, and um, whilst it's wonderful that you're there for a person in need, it's also important that you are a whole person all by yourself who desires love and deserves love. To be loved in the way that you want okay so that's what i just want to see i feel like that is the lesson uh, i just want to see what is the reason for the separation at this present time what is the reason for the separation at this present time thank you so much for it guys going angels can you please guide thank you so much ace of swords uh, i feel like it's to communicate better to open up to be honest and open because the ace of swords indicates um there's a conversation here that has not been had uh, I feel like there's a blockage. It could be a mental blockage uh, because swords are all about the mind, uh, ideas, communication. Uh, there could also be trust issues here um, of two very private people just because they've learned to be private in their life and then they meet their twin. It doesn't mean they're already like going to be super open straight away. Um, I feel two people who've got trust issues in their life and opening up, it's going to be difficult. So it's almost like there's, they're showing me a stork in the water right now, a stork, uh, the bird. Um, so whenever I see the stork or have been given the stork, that tends to mean um, 
that there are improvements, but there's been a long transition of stagnancy, nothing happening, then suddenly there's movement. And that may be how your relationship has been going. Okay. I mean, it could also be that you're going to see like a stork or you're going to see a, an image or a picture of a stork, or you're an artist and you've just drawn one. So it may mean something in the physical to you, but uh, symbolically, uh, it tends to mean that there, there is a change. It can, Connect. If you look up the Lenormand deck in particular, uh, you know, the stork means um, rebirth, renewal, change, improvements um, after a long period of nothing happening. So I do feel like that there is, um, I feel like there's a change in direction in this relationship, but I'm just going to see if there's going to be communication between you and this person because I feel perhaps there's not been the right communication. I feel like at the very beginning of this relationship, I'm picking up um, something that was misconstrued, a uh, conversation misconstrued, uh, almost like someone said something that um, either got taken the wrong way and it's there's this sense of it held weight in the in the union in the in the way of one person felt that the other did not want to settle down when really that wasn't the case. That's what I'm picking up on. Um, okay, I can only I can only describe it like this because, and this showed up in one of the uh, other readings recently. Uh, it's to, it's a situation I went through with my twin, which was when I first met my twin, I'd gone through a very damaging relationship just before meeting my twin. And the person before my twin actually robbed me of my confidence. Um, it was just horrific, basically. Um, you know, I've spiritually evolved and let that situation go because I, can, I became aware of my behavior after that breakup. I met my twin and this person was incredible. Just magnetic, um, really exciting to be with, but I freaked out because my previous person had actually, you know, uh, cheated, was so damaging to the, to the union, to my psyche, and I didn't trust unconditional love, did not trust it. And even though I had fallen in love with my twin, I actually pushed my twin away. And one of the conversations that I had with my twin when um, my twin was opening up to me about how they felt, and, you know, if I could go back to my younger self and just, you know, give myself a good talking to, I would. But in that moment, I was spiritually unevolved and I felt defensive. So as soon as my twin was like trying to describe how they felt, I started to panic like, oh no, 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 we're not going here. So I actually said something that I really did not want to say, which was um, something on the lines of, um, don't think that this is going somewhere. Uh, this is only temporary, you know, we're, 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 this is not a thing, we're not doing this. It was, I can't remember the exact words, but it was kind of like pushing that person away. Um, and my twin was shocked and I could feel them take a step back emotionally straight away. The barrier was up and my barrier was up. And inside I was like, no, that's not what I want to say. What I actually want to say is I love you too and I want to do this, but I'm scared. But people, humans don't really open up and say you're scared, right? It, it's, it's an intimate moment. Um, so I can only liken it to like that. I mean, I'm sure it's not the same, but I get a sense that someone said something was like, oh, they don't want to settle down or, oh, oh, this is not a, a deep relationship. Okay. I got the wrong message. So I just picked this up. Okay. In this union. And I'm not saying it's any way near, uh, my one, uh, my, my twin flame connection. Uh, but I just want you to be aware I'm picking up a co of a conversation, something that has been either misconstrued or left unsaid. Okay. Um, now your person's got, uh, the stars and the moon. Okay. So this person is now seeing their overarching energy. This is their main energy. Um, they are having clarity. They are healing the things within themselves that are necessary in the twin flame separation. These readings are for those twins who are in separation. Okay. Now the star also represents to see clearly. This person is being gift, gifted clarity in this moment um, over their confusion because this person has been very, very confused and they may have, uh, you know, you may have felt very uncertain as to where you stood in this connection because of it. Um, this person has been very, focus on their goals and their dreams, trying to make those things happen. Okay. I even feel like some of, I feel this person has tried to prove 
to their family or to people around them their success. So some of them may have even wanted to be famous or wanted to be in the public eye for something. I mean, doesn't mean public eye doesn't mean they want to be famous. It can mean that they want to be very well known within their industry, uh, well respected, seen for their talents. This person, there is an element of ego. I mean, we all have elements of ego and there is good ego and there's bad ego. I feel like this person had a e sense of ego that they just wanted to do well and they wanted to I feel like there is some sort of overcompensation here for low self-worth. Okay, so it could be that they felt unseen um, in their efforts and talents by their uh, family or their um, or by a friend or someone who was close to them. And it's like, well, I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to find my life's purpose and I'm going to be very, very successful. That's what I'm picking up from your person. Okay, uh, this person is in, in a state of wishing and deep down. They're wishing for you. We've got the king. Sorry, we've got the king of pentacles over here, and we've got the um, king queen of pentacles right here. The queen of pentacles, of course, Virgo is your card. It is a Virgo card. So this person, um, they're very independent. <clears throat> I feel like they've been doing a lot of self development, and. It's number 16 here, so this indicates that they're having a tower moment. They're having a revelation moment where they are liberating themselves from that inner narrative I was talking about, where things have gone round and round in circles. It's been stagnant. This person is breaking down the narrative in order to free themselves up and become aware of the chaos that they've been causing um, or the disruption they've been causing to what they truly want. Okay, so perhaps my, maybe I was by telling you my story, I'm picking up on your person where they actually wanted to say things that they never said or they said the wrong things. The wrong things always just came out or it came out wrong. Okay, and see deep down, we've got number six there, which six is the lover's card. So I feel deep down this person is becoming aware of their twin flame situation with you and they love you. This person uh, has a lot of love and I feel like this person has made some choices in their life that has kept them stuck and they'll tell you about that okay uh, the choices they made have kept them stuck uh, now we do have the moon card energy so this person very uncertain very wishy-washy in the energy this person has a lot of mood swings okay that's what I'm picking up on straight away uh, the moon card of course is a transformational card though so this person that you're dealing with is in a time of metamorphosis okay this person's become aware of their shadow self and they're going inwards to trust their intuition um, this person is also purging any negativity and tapping into their inner awareness for answers okay this person has always had a struggle between independence and settling down um, and we'll see why, because I feel like this person has witnessed something uh, when they were younger. Uh, we've got the dog and the wolf. I mean, there's two wolves here. Wolves are pathfinders, but normally on the moon card, there is a wolf and a dog, which represents the struggle between uh, independence and settling down, the home body, the, domestic, the domesticity part of ourselves, okay? The dog represents uh, domesticity, loyalty, um, and the wolf, of course, represents that independence to explore one's territory on their own and then come back to the pack whenever they feel like it. Doesn't mean that they're off, you know, um, cheating or you know going to other wolf packs for example it's more that they've got this sense of independence of going off doing their own thing and not being tied down to anything but returning when they need the sanctuary of the pack so um, I'm picking up that energy from your person I just want to see what's gone on before what has this person witnessed Okay, there's been a lot of drama in this person's life. A lot of, we've got the five of wands here. It's in the reverse. So a lot of squabbling. Okay, this person's trying to find peace of mind. Uh, five of wands indicates a lot of drama, a lot of uh, arguing, a lot of uh, rivalry, a lot of challenges, a lot of um, mental anguish. I get uh, this energy of fighting. Um, challenge strife they're turning their life around because they've also got the nine of swords here okay nine of swords is about anxiety it's about uh you know being unkind to oneself with the inner narrative that we all have um i feel like this person is trying to be gentler in the way that they deal with themselves this person i get a sense of um there's a lot of fear false evidence appearing real in their life i feel this person and again i'm not here to give any excuses i'm here to try and understand this person has some self-loathing 
Okay. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys. So they always felt like they were not enough. So how could they settle down with a person and be in a relationship when they themselves felt that they were not enough? They could not love because they did not love themselves. And this person is having to learn to love themselves. Uh, nine of Cups in the reverse. They did not wish for things to turn out this way. Okay. I feel like this person... Uh, when you get the five of wands in the reverse this means they want peace they want to make amends they want uh to resolve any problems because they have a conscience this person is feeling regret that it's in separation right now um can you show me what went beyond though what did they witness queen of cups now it's interesting because we've got a queen of cups here and we've got a king of cups we've got a queen of pentacles and we've got a king of pentacles now I feel from the energy that your person is emulating either their parents' relationship or their guardian's relationship. Um, and what I mean by that is they had an absent, um, I have, I feel that this person had an absent father figure or a father figure that came in and out. I mean, there's no blame here. Um, life is just life, you know, things happen. And, uh, but I feel that this person was meant to learn self-care because I feel this person in some way and this is really um very this is a lot of emotional burden and baggage for this person it's like this person felt responsible in some way even though they're not for some sort of drama or something that went on in their childhood and their parents separated or uh, there's something here about emotional blame even though we should never blame a child for anything. They come into this lifetime. Um, you can't blame. What I mean, I want to rephrase that. You can't blame a child for an adult's decision. Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of people going on here. Okay, we've got um, three queens. There's just a lot of drama, a lot of influence. So third party influences. I'm going to pull a card and see if this person uh, cheated on you, my beautiful Virgo. But I really get a sense because in a nine of pentacles, this person's in a solitary energy. They're single. Okay. But I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot of matriarchal and patriarchal figures here. So I feel like there's a lot of like, um, interfering, shall we say, uh, with the queen of wands, this is a card of like, being very gregarious, going out there, having a lot of fun, being a good people person, a lot of magnetism about this person, a lot of passion. Uh, but I feel like this person was meant to learn self-care and process things that are not their fault. Can you show me if this is, um, if there's a third party situation here with this uh, twin? No. Uh, Six of Cups indicates this person wants to reunite with you, my beautiful Virgo. So this person uh, does not have anybody at this time. Did this person have somebody else uh, whilst they were with my beautiful Virgo at any point? Okay, this person had some sort of damaging relationship uh, when they first met you. They had had a sense of loss. Okay, and then it spun them out to go and try and find their true purpose. Uh, they launched themselves into work or into a project or a hobby, and they were not looking for love when they first met you. Uh, Five of Cups indicates they could not see the love that was available because they were too busy lamenting some sort of sadness. Uh, now, this is either to do with a uh, family or to do with a previous relationship that they were in. Uh, when you first met, this person was very a very damaged human, okay? Um, and with the judgment card there, I feel like they wanted to leave their old life behind. They wanted to focus on their true north. It brought a lot of upheaval and change. This person wants to reunite with you, but this person had a lot of self-doubt and they've been rejected in some way before they met you. And they may have told you about this. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Um, I feel with this, I'm getting a real sense that... Um, this person was very defensive, but I feel that there was a lot of paranoia that this relationship would end up the same way. Okay, so there's a lot of insecurity, a lot of trust issues going on here. So um, I just wanted to see if there was more than one person. I mean, if, you're, if you know that your person had more than one person, 
then perhaps this is not your reading. Um, I'm not picking up on a third party situation. There could have been third party influence, like someone, you know, said, oh, you don't want to go into a new love relationship straight after, uh, you know, another one breaking down. That could be rebound. So there could be some sort of, you know, advice that was given but I don't feel like they cheated. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on here. Okay, uh, Nine of Pentacles, this person very focused on finances, also is very discerning also, so you may be dealing with someone who has strong Virgo in their chart too. The energies that we've got, we've got Leo, we've got Cancerian, uh, heavily uh, Cancerian in the chart. We've also got Libra, we've got Scorpio, Taurus, and uh, Virgo, of course. There's other energies as well, but they're the main ones. So it doesn't have to be sun, moon, or rising, but it could mean that your person has strong influences from those placements in their chart. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, this person enjoys their freedom. They, they're very independent um, and they like to compartmentalize their life, okay? So they have lots of groups of friends, but those friends tend to not really meet, okay? So this person has got lots of like, different aspects of their life that they enjoy moving into in every given moment. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, this person is uh, very conservative about their heart. They protect their heart. They don't give um, their energy away so easily. Uh, this person is also in a state right now where they're focusing on security, on safety, on settling down. They're building a life of luxury and um, they're exhibiting a healthier version of themselves. So they're actually looking really fine, shall we say, uh, because this person is, if they were, for example, if they were drinking or they were using substances and things like that, I feel like they're they're disconnecting from that and they're actually the healthiest they've ever been right now, okay? Uh, Queen of Pentacles, this person is thinking about you, but they're also thinking about settling down. Queen of Pentacles is the queen of abundance, but also conservation, to be domestic, uh, to live a life of comfort, to uh, think about the future. So whilst they are like, um, in a state of wanting a lot of finances. This person is financially doing quite well for themselves. Uh, some of them may even work from home now. That's what I'm getting a sense there. Um, and they may tell you about that. But this person is thinking about um, either buying a home or being in their home and wanting to settle down. They're all about the home space. They may even tell you about some DIY that they've been doing around the home space. Uh, this person is really thinking about nesting is what I'm picking up now. Um, now we've also got the bear for your person, number 15. So um, this indicates that this person is not giving up on this relationship because this is the card of perseverance. Um, I feel that your person, how can I put this? Your, your person is in a state of leadership. They're going to take the initiative and they are looking for stability and a protective influence in their life. And they found that with you, my beautiful Virgo. So I feel this person is turning their life around. I mean, we've even got number 10 at the bottom there, which is Wheel of Fortune energy. So this person is coming into a similar frequency as you, uh, but they are turning their life around uh, for the better. The chariot card indicates they're overcoming these obstacles and they know the direction they want to head in. And this direction is pointing to your cards. So they are heading in your direction. Interesting because you're heading away and they're heading towards. So the chariot card indicates that this person um, has met their challenges and just knows um, that how can I put that? They're motivated to come and speak with you. Uh, I get this sense that this person is building their confidence and they're taking control, shall we say. They're no longer in this wishy-washy energy. This is the outcome energy. Uh, they may tell you about travel or some sort of relocation that they are going through, but I feel this person knows what they want now. Now, I need to pull a card on these two kings because they're exhibiting... Um, your twin is in this, these two energies. Now, this is a card of, you know, being in a open hearted state. Their heart is still a little bit protective, but I feel like they want to open their heart. They love, they want to come um, for 
a relationship. They're looking for a relationship. And we have the King of Pentacles here as well, which is about stability and also building a business. So I really feel that this person is being very pr practical about what they want right now. And we do have a King and Queen of Pentacles right here. So this being your card, my beautiful Virgo, I feel this person, you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but I feel this person wants to settle down and they want you but i want to pull a card on these two kings because these can be aspects of themselves where they've reached a certain level of maturity where they've mastered their emotions they know what they want and they want to settle down and they want to share their cup of love they've gone through a period of um, self-development because the moon card is present where they're going through self-preservation and self-reflection so they're actually looking at what they desire for the future, because this is the future. This is how it's going to work out. But I just want to clarify because there are two kings there. So, you know, I keep getting this sentence and I almost don't want to say it, but it's coming up, so I have to say it, okay? They're also giving me an image in the water, which I will tell you in a moment. All I keep getting is I don't want to be like my father. And I don't really want, you know, I, I feel like there's an aspect of this person that doesn't want to be like that person but there's also wonderful elements i'm sure of their patriarchal type figure that they do love but there's this sentence that keeps coming up okay it came up once and i thought mm, okay i'll just let it go but it came up again and it's come up a third time so i'm just gonna say it out there because it just keeps coming up and it'll keep distracting me until i give it to you also in the water because i'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading they're showing me an image of a a tree of life uh, so a tree in a circle, tree of life. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. My guides are giving me the sense uh, of interconnectedness. Your person is becoming aware of the sense of interconnectedness, how they've grown. They're shifting, stabilizing. They've gone through inner knowledge or going through inner knowledge. They want to rebirth this. They want to give it another go. Okay. That's what they're showing me. Now that image, the tree of life with the circle, uh, the tree inside the circle is the tree of life. You may see this symbol somewhere over the next four or five weeks. And that indicates that there is going to be a communication from your twin. Okay. So look out for that. Okay. I've got to go get that card. One moment, please. There it is. Ace of Pentacles right on the floor. Okay. So they're indicating this is what they can offer you or what they want to offer you, okay? So it's not two people. I just wanted to clarify the two kings. Uh, Ace of Pentacles indicates this person, your twin wants to offer you stability. They want to be in the whole way. This person is going to, um, they want to start again. And yeah, after difficulty, as you can see the cloud there, you know, it's so interesting. And I didn't call it, so I can't really say it. Right at the beginning of your readings, I do a little meditation and I scry in the water just before the readings. And um, what I saw was a hand coming out of the clouds. Okay. And it was just like a, it, the, the hand that I saw didn't have anything in it. Okay. Uh, it was more like, um, you know, a symbol of peace uh, if you're meditating like that. And it was coming out of the clouds like this, basically. Um, and I didn't call it. And it's interesting that the hand is coming out of the clouds. Of course, it connects to an ace um, of pentacles or an ace of wands or an ace in general in the tarot. Um, but I didn't call it. I didn't tell you because it didn't come up in the water until this card has come up and just reminded me of the image. So I do feel like this person wants to offer something solid to you in this connection. Okay. Uh, now, your energy, though, we've got the dog here, which means you're looking for loyalty and stability. And you have been loyal in this connection, but you feel very uncertain. And you felt that this person has been very changeable. So you don't know where you're at. I mean, this is number 18. So you both are starting to change frequencies and come together because we've got 10 and 18. And they had the moon card there. Uh, and also they had... Um, number 10 with the bear. So the numbers, numerical synchronicity is starting to show up for you, um, which indicates, of course, that there is going to be radical transformation in this twin flame connection. Uh, the dog represents um, buried feelings as well, coming to light. 
I get a sense that you're someone who this person can trust. You've supported this person. Um, you've been very loyal, uh, protected. But I get this sense right now that you have to choose whether you want a soulmate or whether you want to be with your twin. Because I feel like this has been a very painful experience for you, my beautiful Virgo. I say this because you've got the Justice card. The Justice card is to weigh up options, okay? It's literally, should I stay, should I go? I feel like you're making adjustments, okay? This is a card where decision-making has to occur. And whatever you decide, whether you decide to be with your twin or whether you decide to walk away, you're, you're, they're indicating here that your future self will thank you for the decisions you make in this moment. So uh, I cannot tell you how to make your decision, my beautiful Virgo, but what I can feel here is you just want an honest, open conversation. You want this person to take accountability for why they stepped away, for why they've been testing you, or why this has felt like a test, why this person Deep down, both of you know that you love each other. Why has it taken so long for you both to admit this? And um, I feel like you've already told this person how you feel, but I feel this person has avoided their feelings. They've denied their feelings. They've pushed you away and kept you at arm's length. And I feel like right now, when they come to you to talk, I'll have to pull a card and see when they're going to come and talk. I feel like you're ready to talk, but at the same time, you're judging this person's actions because you want to see if their words match their actions. Okay. Um, we've got the four of swords here and we've got double four for you as well. Four of swords. You're in a solitary energy. You're going to think about it. You're meditating on it. I feel like you're doing a lot of healing from this and you're bored of the way that this person has had some sort of pattern in your relationship. And I feel like you you feel it's time for a break. So um, we've got the four cups as well. You're fed up with the way things have gone. And you're maybe even opening yourself up to a new love or um, hoping that the universe has uh, someone new in store that brings stability, that offers uh, the love that you truly deserve and desire. Because right now you feel like you haven't found it clearly with your twin. Even though you know it's otherworldly energy and that there is a bond like no other, Okay, I'm getting another sentence coming through. This is so unusual. I really just get sentences thrown out there. Um, but the, sentences, the sentence I've got coming for you is, I'm not a beggar for your love. So I get this sense that you're not, you know, you didn't want to have to walk away from this, but I feel like you are in self-preservation mode and you're like, no, I can't do this. I'm, I'm done. I, I feel... This person, it's interesting because as you see, there's a cloud again with the hand coming through. And this person is going to offer, but you're thinking about what didn't work, why it didn't work. The answers that you seek, you have not received yet. And you're fed up with the way things have been presented because you just feel like it's just going to be the same. So you're like, why should I waste my time going round in circles again with you? <laughs> They're giving me a song right now. It's interesting that I've said round in circles because I know what song this is. Um, I'll give you the lyrics because this is what they're giving me. One moment, please. Okay. Interesting that they've chosen this part of the song. But anyway, um, open up your loving arms. Watch out. Here I come. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Round, 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 round. Okay, that was quite fast. So, I mean, that's um, a very well-known song. I think it's called You Spin Me Right Round. Um, yeah, I can't really remember who it's by, but I want to say Dead or Alive. So that's just me saying that. I'm probably wrong, but that's from my memory. That's not what I'm being given by spirit. I'm just being given those uh, words in the what? Well, the words of the song, that part of the song, those words. Um, so open up your loving arms. Here I come. I feel like your twin is kind of, I feel like that's your twin saying that. And it's almost like as a response, you're like, you spin me right round. You know, it's almost like it just, it seems to go round and round in circles. Okay, round and round is what I feel. I'm going to uh, pull a quick card to see if I can find out uh, when this person will reach out to talk to you. Although I feel in and around Valentine's Day is a pretty major time for this person. 
because I feel like this person got hurt in and around Valentine's Day in the past. And that's why this person has been um, a little bit avoidant of Valentine's Day, shall we say. I mean, Valentine's Day, it's become very commercialized. Uh, love is love and love should be celebrated every day if possible. Um, so two of swords in the reverse. Okay. Um, this person is going to try really hard to convince you that they are not a player. They are stuck on you. This person wants to settle down. They don't want to run anymore. Uh, I just show you the cards. We've got the two of swords in the reverse. They see clearly that they had an inability to commit. They struggled. Um, they were very confused. Um, they felt to settle down in love was to compromise their goals. And with the Six of Swords, this indicates they cannot move on. This is unresolved issues here. This There is a stagnancy. But the Knight of Wands indicates they don't want to run anymore. They're not a player. Can you show me a date or a time? I want to say 18th. 18th. So I know that's like four days after Valentine's Day. This person will tell you they love you. I get this sense it's in and around the date, Valentine's Day. But up to the 18th. Of February as well is what I feel okay two of cups this person loves they want to tell you that they want to reunite um, this person is looking for love they're looking for union and I feel this person they understand the love that you had to offer now and I feel there's a lot of regrets here I feel like they want to be in a state of reciprocity okay now should you and this person have that honest open, open conversation and resolve those issues <clears throat> excuse me i feel like you and this person has the potential to be together long term um you know in a high level commitment relationship in marriage if that's what you truly want okay um it's interesting they've asked me to just move those cards out of the way and i just did it without even thinking because normally i don't do that in a reading i leave it out so it's almost like moving on from that energy all that matters is the overarching energy that your person is not going to give up on this and that you are very loyal and both of you will have a very loyal honest open relationship and it can be healed yeah this person is going to surprise you that is for sure i'm going to take one more okay so we've got frozen so I feel that's how your state of relationship is at the moment. Things are going to thaw out. It says here, someone or something in the situation has gone cold, but some things are meant to remain in a state of winter and others can thaw out and be brought back to life again. Challenge bleak dormant. So um, when it says bleak, I feel like that's if you decide to leave it that way, it's the end. OK, and they look bleak right now, but I feel that this can be thought out. This is a relationship. I mean, look, you're going from fire and ice. Well, it's more like ice and fire. So I feel like this will warm up. This will heat up. It will thaw out. There's going to be a lot of sparks here. We've got fireworks right in the middle. Fireworks represent surprise energy. OK, um, they're also showing me a book that is something inscribed in the book, a message written in a book that was given. Now, this may have shown up for you in the past in a reading, my beautiful Virgo, but they're showing me um, someone writing a message in a book that has been published. It's almost like a dedication. So either your person is a writer or you are, or perhaps a gift was given in the past between you and your person and they inscribe something in the book. They're just giving me that. So that's very precise. It may not resonate for everyone. It says illumination, firework, unforeseen. So illumination is a sudden realization. And then suddenly your person reaches out. Unforeseen message, I feel, is coming for you. And we've got number 30. We've got the fire. So it says combative, feisty, excitable. Life is forged where there has been destruction. So I really get this sense that your person's having a tower moment. I get this sense that there is an awakening here. And I do feel fire and ice. This is a passionate relationship that will lead to something more loving and more intimate because i feel like your person is ready to open up to that level of intimacy okay um so let's get a trinket before we close they just want that one we have a key okay and it's got the rose now the rose connects to the death card which is a scorpio card of course uh this is about unlocking the answers that you seek because keys tend to represent revelations realizations messages breakthroughs um also 
it's the death card so that means transformation and um, rebirth when you get the death card key it tends to mean that there are changes going on behind the scenes in this relationship that will become something new okay releasing or breaking old habits and releasing anything that's been hindering the path for you and your person to be together so it makes space for something greater so i'll leave it there i hope something resonates in this reading for you my beautiful virgo if it does please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is so important for me too thank you so much my beautiful virgo love and light